ask this. All right, our Senator team. Kelly Ayotte, a Republican from New Hampshire and a member of the Armed Services Committee, is teaming up with Senators John McCain and Lindsey Graham, hoping to get to the bottom of this. She joins us now. Good morning, Senator. Good morning. So, so many lawmakers were out in full force this weekend speaking on the Sunday shows. Did you get any closer to the answers? Uh, deeply troubling. We know that uh, General Petraeus testified that they knew it was a terrorist attack right away, that al-Qaeda was involved, and that that was removed. Those references were removed from the talking points apparently provided to Susan Rice that she testified that she talked about five days after the attack on every major news network. But here's what's more troubling. Uh, it wasn't just Susan Rice who did that. If you recall, the president went uh, not only on Letterman, Univision, the day after the CBS interview, and then 14 days later before the United Nations, he did not call, us, call it a terrorist attack, nor did he reference it as connected to al-Qaeda or an al-Qaeda-affiliated group. In fact, the only reference he made to al-Qaeda in that UN speech to the world was that al-Qaeda had been weakened and Osama bin Laden was dead. So I think this raises additional questions. It goes beyond Ambassador Rice. First of all, why were the talking points changed? Uh, it doesn't make any sense to me that we were trying to dupe al-Qaeda. That doesn't pass the laugh test. Uh, but also, uh, why was the president out 14 days later and still failing to call it a terrorist attack to the world? Absolutely, Senator, because, you know, we don't know a lot uh, of what is uh, told by the intelligence community to the president of the United States. But we understand that, what, 72 hours after the attack, the presidential daily briefing, which tells the president about all the stuff that's going on, and it's classified, said just that it wasn't spontaneous and that it apparently had uh, ties to that al-Qaeda affiliate. So the president knew even though he was out saying something else. Well, I think it's deeply troubling. We got to get to the bottom of it. We have to assume that he's receiving the classified information. And also, we need to know why were those talking points changed? Uh, we certainly couldn't be trying to dupe al-Qaeda. Let's not forget that within hours, there were emails sent from the State Department that answer al-Sharia had claimed responsibility on Facebook and Twitter, so we certainly weren't fooling them. So these are serious questions that we have to get to the bottom of. And by the way, we can't forget the big picture questions. First of all, two prior attacks on that consulate. Did the president know about those attacks? Why didn't that consulate get reinforced? Mm -hmm. uh, why didn't we leave like the British and the French did to make sure that our people were protected? Those are the really right. important questions that have to be answered. And Senator, I was going to steal this from Allison from the radio on Friday. The other question that no one brings up is, what about the guys that did this? Have they been brought to justice? Have they, been, have they been droned yet or had a book explode in their face? Why haven't we gotten their names? Why are they drinking at a luxury, uh, uh, okay. having a great time at a luxury hotel? Meanwhile, we know they're, uh, they're suspect number one. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I called for the establishment of a Senate Select Committee uh, we need to get to the bottom of this, a clear picture, not this stovepipe investigation we see happening right now in Congress. Senator Graham, Senator McCain and I, we want to make sure that we get the full picture. Uh, we also need to hold those responsible that, that murdered our brave Americans. Uh, this is so important. Right. And we can't lose sight of the big picture here and making sure that this doesn't happen again. Right. And those deputies yeah, that change those uh, talking points. And meanwhile, we, we, the unclassified ones are total fiction. The nonfiction are classified. Why can't the American people find out the truth? That is more than a little bit insulting. Uh, you know, I think it really, what, do they think that we're that stupid to say that somehow we were trying to dupe al-Qaeda by not telling the American people the truth about this? Uh, we've got to get to the bottom of this. Again, I hope that there is a complete investigation. I think a full committee that isn't this, uh, various committees looking at this, uh, uh, we need a full select committee to look at this, can be bipartisan. We got to get to the bottom of it. This is so important. And this could happen again if we don't get to the bottom of it to make sure uh, we know that Al Qaeda is on the rise around the world. And that's part of the bigger problem here. Yeah. Indeed. All right. Uh, Senator Ayat, uh, join us from New Hampshire. Thank you very much for joining us during Thanksgiving with Thank me. Thank you for having me. You bet. Take care. Thank you. All right,